Once in a great while, a movie comes along that soars into the hearts and minds of moviegoers around the world. A film that's been described as joyous, heartfelt, sensational. Billy Elliot. The film follows in the footsteps of other successful movies from the producers at Working Title Films, the same company behind the smash hits Notting Hill, Elizabeth, and Four Weddings and a Funeral. Get behind the camera and meet the stars, producers, and director of this international smash hit. We'll take you behind the scenes for an in-depth look of the story of a young boy and his struggle to pursue a dream. Billy Elliot, Breaking Free. Dancing when I was 12. Set in Northern England in 1984, the story examines the relationships of a poor coal mining family struggling to get by during the worst strike in Britain's post-war history, a topic director Stephen Daldry found intriguing. It's a simple tale and well told um, about a boy's struggle. Bye. Disgrace to them gloves, your father, and the traditions of this box and all. The problems he's got on this plate is his mother's dead. His family obviously are in a degree of crisis. The mother's only recently dead. He lives in an all male household. You've been playing my record, you little twat. I've never played an out. The minor strike is, begins as, as the film starts, so a further community crisis happens. <laughs> And on top of all that, he has or tries to discover a means of expressing himself, which he eventually does through dance. Newcomer Jamie Bell portrays Billy Elliot, an 11-year-old boy whose family is shattered and whose relationship with his father is about to change. His dad's a really soft guy inside, but on the outside, he's, he's like a shell. He's like really hard. He won't take anything. What's going on? You get back to bed. Both of you. This whole family's uh, a bit confused in what is what's happening. His dad's not sure if they're gonna win the strike. His brother's absolutely positive that he's gonna win the strike. Um, his grandma's not certain upon anything and Billy's just trapped in the middle of it all. During one of his boxing lessons, Billy stumbles upon a ballet class where he meets Mrs. Wilkinson, a dance instructor played by Oscar-nominated Julie Walters. And one, and two, and three. Life and is really harsh for him. Everything's kind of closed and grim at home. He's having to grow up quite quickly because of all those things, and maybe that's why he needs to dance. What are you doing, Come on, Billy? No. We found your nana in the spa stores. Where have you been? Boxing, where do you think? What are you doing? <sighs> got me gloves. They were my dad's gloves. You better take better care of them, OK? They want him to carry on the tradition of, the, of, of mining, you know, of being a miner. Or generation after generation have been miners. My, and, and now, of course, not only is, is that uh, the very fabric of that being destroyed, but also the boy isn't going to, doesn't want to do it anyway. Some consider the 1984 miners' strike of Northern England to be one of the most defining moments in British history since World War II, a time that left tempers flaring and the economy reeling. The film is set during the miners' strike for a number of reasons. One is that it's essentially a, an enclosed, tightly knit community that becomes under extreme threat. <laughs> And of course, the, the miners' strike was a great turning point in, in our post-war domestic life in this country. 84 was, a, was when, you know, the, the, the mines were destroyed. Was, you know, that's when Thatcher decided she was going to destroy the miners. It was probably the biggest industrial dispute in the last 20 years, and it changed the, the whole course of industrial disputes thereafter. It was the end of mining in this country as we knew it. And it was, uh, it, and with the end of mining, it was all sort of the end of community, which is what the film deals with in a sense, it, it, in two senses, you know, Billy's losing his community and the community themselves are disintegrating. You aren't thinking of taking it with you. You just want to stand around. You're no good to us in jail. Don't plan on getting caught. 
Put it down. You gonna stop me? I'm warning you. You haven't got it in your mind. You finished. <laughs> In the film, um, the ballet dancers share the hall with the boxing. And in the film, you see, he sees them dancing, he gets quite interested in them. I think he likes the way that the ballet dancers move and things. Seven and stop! He has to give some keys back to the teacher, to Mrs. Wilkinson. Um, so he gives her the keys and she's not interested. Not now! And so he's watching them and then she kind of like, knocks his elbow a bit saying, do you want to try, do you want to try? And he sees, He's not, he says he's, he doesn't want to, he's fine, he's fine. But then eventually she like she pushes him so much that like he actually starts wearing ballet shoes. He loved. Drop your hip. Good arch. He's got a little bit of spark of something that's very special. And it gives him something very special. I think that's what you know as a child. Before long, Billy finds himself sneaking off to dance class. Where, you... Where the hell are you up to? And when Billy's father, played by veteran actor Gary Lewis, finds that Billy has given up boxing for ballet, frustrations finally explode. You! Out! No! I beg your pardon? There's a shock when Billy gets into ballet. It's more than a shock. He thinks that the ballet, getting involved in ballet dancing, is something so clearly effeminate will uh, lead to his son becoming a homosexual. And um, this just does not happen in mining communities. Lads do football or boxing or... What about that Wayne Sleep? He was a ballet dancer. Wayne Sleep? Aye. From now on, you can forget about the ballet. You can forget about the boxing as well. From now on, you stay here and you look after your nana. They used to say I could have been a professional dancer if I'd had the training. Well, you shut up! With Billy, it's more it's more violent, I think. His dad really does take it out of him when he really pushes him against the door and stuff, and he doesn't like it at all. Get off! I think that what's interesting about the character in the film, and indeed Jamie, who plays the character, is they both have a determination to achieve something, and actually both have a gift. And the exploration of that gift and the, and the pursuit of that gift partly through the encouragement of, uh, in Jamie's case, his family, his mother, and in the boy's case in the film, uh, the dancing teacher, in a sense pushes the child to realize their full potential. Torn between his responsibility to his family and his gift of dance, Billy gravitates towards Mrs. Wilkinson, his dance instructor. Where are those arms? I don't know what to do. Follow the others. Shut up, Debbie. Well, I like her, so she's real. She's not a saint. She's an angry, disappointed person, and, and that's very interesting. It's the dark side of people that is, is far more interesting than the light side of them. You know, we're much more interested in looking at that. Let's shine a light on that and have a look. Oh, yes. Whip your head round and come back to that spot. Prepare! She spots it and grabs it, you know, like this, because it's what she never had, that spark and that talent. Reach out. She can see that, that he, could, he could achieve something that she never could. But Mrs. Wilkinson has an idea that will help Billy realize his full potential. This will sound strange, Billy, but for some time now, I've been thinking of the Royal Ballet School. Aren't you a bit old, Miss? No, not me, you. I'm the bloody teacher. She doesn't treat him like a child at all. She treats him like a man. And one. Two. Get up. Miss, can't do it. That's because you're not concentrating. I am concentrating. They bicker and he talks to her as well. You're the same as everybody else. All you want is to tell me what to do. <laughs> They're so harsh with one another. Don't you dare talk to me like that. You don't, don't even have a proper dancing school. You're stuck in some crummy boxing hall. It's too adult a thing to kind of deal with for him emotionally, I think. Not only was Jamie Bell put to the test, but Julie Walters had to prove that she too could dance. It was a big three week rehearsal period with like, um, Julie and the choreographer and then I came in and we danced together. 
But it was fun. I mean, she enjoyed herself. We love to boogie. We love to boogie. I saw the dance they wanted me to do. I, wanted, I, I, I felt ill. I said, I can't, I can't do that. I said, you're joking. And they said, oh, no, you're learning. It's fine. I said, no, I can't, I can't do that. I, said, I couldn't possibly do those steps. This film's all about acting, it's all about performance, it's all about interrelationships. So unless you surrounded Billy with a strong enough team, you know, I think, one, it wouldn't have been believable, and two, it wouldn't have been as interesting. We're very lucky in this film to have such a, a strong cast, um, and I'm delighted with the cast, who brought extraordinary gifts to the film. For Stephen Daldry, putting the actors first was his main goal, a technique derived from his previous experience as one of England's top theatre directors. Stephen's fantastic. He just, uh, you know, he just opens everything up and it's just so relaxed and it's so creative. You owe me 50 pence. No, I don't. You do. Why don't you bring it along next week? I can't. I'm going to boxing. Will you crap at boxing? No, I'm not. Shut up. It's a very different way of working. Partly because so much of it is dependent on the director in a way that the theatre is a much more collective and collegiate process, which in the theatre allows you to not to know necessarily what you're doing at any one particular moment. And actually, it's, a, it's almost a source of strength to say, well, I don't know. Whereas um, uh, in the movies, the bloodhounds just smell blood at that moment. Um, and they're just ready to go for you if you don't know what you're doing. When we knew that Stephen was going to get fantastic performances, and I suppose the big question, again, with any first-time director, is what are they going to be like on the visuals? But I think the way that the film kind of stands out and there's something, an exceptional quality, is something that Stephen's brought to him. And I think that he's kind of given it a kind of slight enhanced reality that maybe, you know, a kind of other directors would have missed, and I think that Stephen's brought a lot to it. He certainly brought a sense of humour to it, yeah, and you can see that in the scenes where the kids are walking down the street talking and they drag a stick across the, no, across the shield. Who like? What about that them? sort of stuff was never in the script. Well, but with Stephen, you know, we work out the scene and act it. We write little bits and put bits in and, you know, we have the idea, oh, let's do this, you know, and change it totally. And, you know, it was wonderful, love that. Billy missed a very important audition. Audition? For the Royal Ballet School. Gotta start training from when you're young. Shut it! I'm not having any brother of mine running around for your gratification. Excuse me, this is not for my gratification. And what good's it gonna do him? You're not taking him away. He's only a bairn. What about giving him a childhood? I don't want a child. I don't want to be a ballet dancer. To find the right actor to portray Billy, director Stephen Daldry auditioned over 2,000 boys to find one that could act and dance. It was a bit of a task to try to find a child that could do the dancing and come from the northeast um, that was at the right age. What we were looking for was something very specific. We weren't looking for a stage school kid. We were looking for somebody who came from that sort of background. It was quite difficult saying, OK, can we find a kid who lives in the Newcastle area that has no formal training um, and who could dance in the way that Jamie could? And so we got very close to not making the film. And at many points during that process, we weren't convinced we'd ever find a child from a particular geographic area that could do everything that we wanted to do, and we felt had the uh, tenacity and determination to see through the whole process of the film, which is a very arduous and difficult um, task. And in this particular circumstance, the film very much hanging on the performance of the child. Five thirty seven, take four. Eight. Eight camera. As well as we realised that Jamie uh, was going to be able to persuade the audience that he could be a fantastic ballet talent. What we didn't really know at that stage was how well he would act. And at that point, it was over to Stephen Daudry, and we knew that Jamie was in the best hands possible. Not many 13-year-old boys get a chance to, like, well, to be on a film set anyway, but, like, have the main part is... It's quite a big leap from one, one place to the other. With film, I think you're, you're, you're being seen under a microscope. He doesn't see himself as carrying a film. You know, I, I think he sees himself as being being Billy, you know, every day. And he, he's, he's never done acting before, so that this is all a new experience. He's enjoying it. Peter Darling, the choreographer, was a different kind of dancing to what I've ever done before. Because when I used to dance on stage, I used to have to, like, smiley face, sparkly costumes and all this dancing kind of thing. 
But what Peter Dallin, the choreographer, showed me was that it's not about that. The dance is about you, yourself. You have to express yourself through the dancing, and that's what Billy does. Jamie's great strong point is, you know, he's so good at rhythm. And whereas perhaps with someone else, you might, uh, you might pursue a more, I don't know, elegiac piece of music. With Jamie, he, he responds very well to rhythm. Jamie doesn't want to tell his friends that that's what he's actually playing. Somebody becomes a ballet dancer. When it first got out that I was dancing, the lads at school were a bit, oh, you shouldn't be doing that, Jamie. It's, it's, it's not right. It's for girls. You should be doing, you should be playing football. You should be hanging around with us, not going to dance classes. Ballet is, is, is as close to an athletic sport as anything. You know, you're, it's, I think, you know, that the great, to me, the great ballet dancers combine self-expression with athleticism. For the filmmakers, the making of Billy Elliot was only the beginning. And at the film's premiere in London, British fans and celebrities eagerly awaited its opening. So, London premiere, how's it feel to be here? Um, it's a bit much, really, for a guy who comes from Billy. Um, this is a bit weird for me at the minute. I'm just kind of getting used to it. People just just really taken to it. It's very it's very touching and funny and and um, and unusual, you know. And the boy Jamie Bell is just just fantastic, you know. I'm still surprised that audiences are responding so well to the film. Um, not just in this country, but I've just come from three weeks in America, and it's just very odd going from Chicago to uh, Arizona to you know Los Angeles and finding audiences laughing at our jokes or crying at our moments. And what's a, it'll be fantastic if it is as universal as it seems to be. It's quite scary actually, and uh, when I saw the universal thing go around. Oh, it starts going like this, and then, yeah, I actually see the record going on the thing. And I have to actually fold my arms, because I think it's going to actually jump out my body, so I kind of cross my arms. But it was it was quite scary, but after the first scene, I was fine. It was fantastically exciting, the London premiere. It was, uh, I mean, I didn't realise how kind of tense I was about it until it actually started and got underway and got a fantastic response. We can't express really how proud we are of the film and how uh, excited and astonished in a way that it's gone down as well as it has. A pivotal dance sequence in the film comes when Billy is discovered by his father and finally reveals how talented he really is. The dance routine in the hall and the boxing hall is very hard to do. Um, there's lots of crew around and I was all I was a bit nervous and the choreographer's going, right, this is it, you have to do it, you've been rehearsing this for ages. Now's the time to do it. And I just forgot about everybody else and then because that, that's the first time Billy does it for anybody else except for him. And that's, that's, that's kind of how I felt. There's something special about him. That he is prepared to go the distance. And he's gone the distance in every single area. The chance is a fantastic opportunity. And he loves it. That's, and that seems to me the most you know, I've watched him just completely blossom. The dad is a good man, and he does recognise it. When he sees him dance, he goes, blimey, yeah. He's got to do this. He has this. This is something. Where has this come from? Cry, you know. I mean, it must be such a shock. Dad, you can't go back, not now! When Jackie Elliott realizes that he can help his son, he goes against his union and crosses picket lines so that Billy can study at the Royal Ballet in London. We're finished, son. <laughs> what choice have we got, eh? Let's give the boy a chance. Please, please don't do this to me, Dad. We'll find him some money. <laughs> we'll find it for him. Billy actually says, I don't want a future. I want to dance. I want to be a ballet dancer. He wakes up. And he does what he can to get his kid there. You do realise that all pupils must attain the highest standards, not just in ballet, but in their ordinary academic work. No child can succeed without the 100% support of the family. 
you are completely behind Billy? Yes. Yes, of course. I think that it's very easy for anyone to identify with a story of struggle. He wants to break out. He thinks that if he just goes on living his life that he is, he'll, he'll just end up being, being a minor and doing what everybody else has done in that same village. Ah! The thing about dance is that it's an opening, you know, and a trust and an opening out. He did it! <laughs> Go, Billy! Is that absolutely necessary? Walk normal, will you?